And we're joined now by Tammy Miller once again on the Oakland County Megacast. Tammy, thank you for being with us today. Hi, thank you. Good afternoon. Good to be here. How are you? How's your team doing at Elizabeth Lake Urgent Care? We're doing good. Busy, busy, busy. It's been a extremely busy last couple days. Um, I think we've seen 80 yesterday. Wow, that's, that's significant. So there's been a lot more testing available now than before there's some new methods that are being used that are a little less invasive invasive take us through what's now being done to test people for COVID-19 that wasn't being done before and have you seen more people coming through your office lately to get tested for COVID-19 yes as you know that since uh May 17th through July 5th there has been almost a three percent spike with the COVID um, I think that's just because people are out moving around. Um, a lot of people are not wearing their mask like they should. Um, but we do have some new testing. Um, we were able to obtain a new machine and it we actually do the nasal swab. It takes 15 minutes and they get results within 15 minutes, negative or positive, right there on the spot. Uh, we're still doing the antibody test for those folks that want to see if they've built up antibodies towards COVID. And we're still sending out also the nasal swab. How accurate are these testing methods? The SOFIA is almost 100%. The nasal swab also 100%. That goes to a, an accredited lab approved and um, it goes through toxicology, so 100%. How worried are you about the testing supplies as this pandemic wears on? You know, I've been quite lucky as I stated in the in the last um, Zoom that we had, um, I've been extremely lucky not running out of supplies. Um, I think we only had one day, one downtime day that we ran out of the antibodies, but we still were swabbing people and sending it out to the lab. So, um, eight to eight, seven days a week, we're going strong. So do you have to have a doctor's uh, prescription to get one of these tests? You do not. Um, for those folks that do have a prescription, uh, we can run the test for them. We can run the antibodies, send the swab out. And, um, you know, they have their prescription, so they don't have to see one of our providers. However, if they do come uh, through the drive-thru and they don't have a prescription, we do have them see our provider just to make sure our nurse practitioners, PAs, educate them on any questions that they may have. So you have been a part of this since the beginning. What advice do you give to someone who hasn't been infected yet? Should they get tested? When should they get tested? What are your thoughts on that? Absolutely. I think everybody knows that this, this virus is changing. And, you know, even before people are walking around with no symptoms whatsoever, um, they could be carriers uh, of the virus. So just, you know, to, to especially the elderly, um, the people that are immunocompromised, they, they definitely need to be tested just to make sure that they're not you know, uh, given the virus to other people. How often should a person get tested then? Well, I think if, they, if they've if they been exposed, um, they should be waiting, you know, anywhere from two to 14 days to come in to be tested. Um, however, if they just want to ease their own mind, they can give us a call, come through the drive-through, we'll test them and definitely, you know, rest, you know, rest their mind at that. This has to be challenging for you and your staff members. How are you able to make sure you all stay safe as well? You know, we're just using the universal precautions. Um, uh, Elizabeth Lake was one of the first sites that started the testing. And um, uh, some of me, me and some of my staff, we still test each other, you know, especially if we get colds or we're not feeling well. Uh, we'll do the antibody test or maybe send out a swab maybe once a month just to make sure that, you know, we're not active. But it's the hand washing, the mask, 
um, making sure that patients are wearing the mask when they come in. We are sanitizing all day long. I spray off our clipboards, I spray our gloves, I spray our pens. Um, just making sure that we're double checking to make sure we're, we're doing everything on our end to make sure everything's you know disinfected and sanitized. So for someone who hasn't had the test yet, we see the video on TV where they're you know putting the swab way up your nostril and it looks so painful. They may be hesitant to get a test. Is that the type of test that you're doing now or are there different ones? And you know, is it painful at all? I wouldn't really say it's painful. It's definitely uncomfortable. Um, but you know, we've got the people coming through the drive-through, whether it's whether it's kids, adults, elderly. You know, we're just we're gentle with them. Um, we explain, you know, what we're going to do. You know, we tell them to relax, count to ten. Uh, sometimes make them stick their tongue out. Um, and you know, we're just very gentle with them. I would just say it's mostly uncomfortable. Now, as far as other testing goes to, we can also do the blood draws. Uh, the blood draws are 100%. So we've got so many options for the community and well patients, sick patients, and um, it, anything that they want from us, if they come through the drive-thru and say, I just want the antibody test, I try to explain to them that that is not 100%. Um, it doesn't mean that they're gonna, going to uh, be positive for antibodies. I, I do try to educate them somewhat um, as far as getting either the Sophia machine run through the nasal swab or sending the swab out or a blood draw. So at that point, you know, we, we kind of rely on, you know, the patient's needs too and how they're, how comfortable they are. And we have children coming through our drive through a lot of kids and the, even the kids have been fantastic. Uh, the majority of them don't cry. We give them popsicles, suckers, you know, do it quickly and, you know, get their testing done and, you know, make them feel at ease as much as we can. So do they wait for the results or do you contact them later? No, if we are doing the, uh, the antibody test, it takes 10 minutes. We have them set there. Uh, we pass out other, you know, forms of paperwork to other people that's waiting and they have to see our provider. If they don't have a prescription, we give them the results, we give them their antibody test in writing, or uh, the Sophia machine that we are running, uh, we give them those results, and uh, they drive around the other side and see the doctor. So tell us again where you're, you are located, and do people need an appointment? Um, we are at 2446 Elizabeth Lake Road. That's Waterford. We are be between Voorhees Road and Telegraph. You can't miss us. We are right on Elizabeth Lake Road. And do people need an appointment before they come? They don't. They don't. When I pulled up this morning, we open at 8 o'clock. I already had four people in line at 715 this morning. Wow. So a lot of people being tested Hopefully, this is going to come to an end soon, right? I hope so. I do. I hope so. It's, uh, I've, I've been so lucky to be a part of this, you know, be able to help the patients, help the staff, help, uh, you know, the community. Uh, we've got restaurants that are coming to see us. So it's, it's been challenging because it, it is, it, it's a long day. Um, but I'm, I'm just blessed that I've been able to be a part of it for people. Tammy Miller from Elizabeth Lake Urgent Care. Before we let you go today, anything else you'd like to say before, uh, before we wrap up today? Come and see us. Call us. Our telephone number is 248-309-3344. My name's Tammy. They can ask for me. There's sometimes that I even go out and test people right in the parking lot. So we're here to help. Um, whatever their needs are, give me a call. I, I will do what I can do, you know, to make sure they get tested and get some peace of mind or some help, some healthcare help. Well, Tammy, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. Tammy Miller from Elizabeth Lake Urgent Care with us on the Oakland County Megacast.